I planted my sweet potatoes in a raised bed that I made out of uh, uh, concrete edging blocks and I put uh, thick cardboard down on the bottom. On top of that I piled up rotten uh, citrus bark and branches from the yard, then some uh, fresh green trimmings to add some green to the mix. Then I put on some free mulch from the city mulch pile, some cow manure, and some garden soil from Home Depot. Then I went over to the uh, grocery store and picked up some organic sweet potatoes, uh, several different varieties that come in this little pack. You can see it's already starting to grow. Then I picked up some uh, fresh sweet potato plants already rooted from Home Depot. And the idea was to plant all those out into my fresh raised bed. And I planted all of these in the bed. And this was in May of 2014. Here you can see it's all planted. I just sat back and waited for it to grow. So here's my sweet potatoes that I, I started in this 4 by 8 raised bed. And as you can see, they are... Well, they're growing out into the grass. I've trimmed them many times. Uh, but I also started some in an earth box. And I'll take you over here to the earth box. And this is where I planted them in the earth box and they've overgrown you can see the see the earth box under there it's about a foot and a half by two feet and you can see where it's just going crazy growing out into the yard and growing into some other uh, empty earth boxes that I have here and of course everywhere I mean look how big look how big those leaves are on the earth boxes uh, compared to the ones over here, let me pick. These are the one. This is a leaf from the uh, ones that are actually in the raised bed against the earth box. I mean, you can see the size difference there. It's the same same variety. So they're really uh, doing well in the earth box. The question is, will they produce the same amount of sweet potatoes? Right. So they, they've only been in the earth box here about a month, and they've just gone nuts. The ones over here in the, um, oh, look at that big grasshopper there. Oh, nice. Uh, the ones over here in the raised bed are producing potatoes. Let's see if I can get you down here where you can actually see. Here's a, a potato here in the ground. Looks like another one over here. And let's see what else. I think there's another one over here. Yeah, here. Here's one. Potato. That white stuff you see down there, that I think that's just some diatomaceous earth that I have down in there to prevent uh, termites. Uh, so there, here's another one over here. This one looks like it's... Something's been rooting here. We have a... Oops. We have a possum that uh, frequents our garden. Doesn't look like anything's been eaten. So we'll see how it turns out. So this morning I noticed the first bloom on my sweet potato vines. Pretty, very much like a morning glory. There's the sweet potatoes.
Well, there's none in this corner. Okay. Uh, a nice big one. That one's really red. I think it's a different kind. I think it's probably a different variety, yeah. It looks like a beet. Yeah. Hard to feel. <laughs> it's a different one. Yeah. It's like a carrot. Oh, that's the uh, that's the purple. Mm -hmm. That's a pur that looks like a purple purple yam. Wow. And another little variety there. I don't know what that is. Very red. So with uh, with barely even touching it, uh, this is how many we've pulled out already. That's a nice bunch of sweet potatoes there. Different varieties. I can't. There's Beauregard, uh, and then there's I think a purple yam there, and some other things, um, which I'm not sure what the varieties are. And as you can see, the sweet potato patch is still uh, largely unscathed so there's going to be a lot in there